Hello everyone, I just wanted to give a quick cinematography walkthrough of some of my favorite shots that are present in the video that I posted a couple of weeks ago. As you can see in the shots that I'm showing on screen now, a few things are present. The most important one for me was the light rays. When it comes to lighting techniques, I use backlighting slash silhouette lighting and sometimes low key lighting. I wanted almost like a Blade Runner, cyberpunk kind of ethereal feel. I really, really like Blade Runner 1982 especially. Here are some shots from Blade Runner 1982 that really inspired me. Of course, as you can see, the end result, I didn't fully follow that technique. But overall, I used this to guide my aesthetic. And then I just made it even more ethereal. One of the main reasons why I love this look in particular is because it's almost like a cheat code into creating your own little world because you're kind of hiding detail more than showing it and you're kind of insinuating something. You're insinuating something more than what you can actually do yourself. So a few things I learned when it comes to uh, light rays is you need hard light for that defined light ray look. Uh, if you have diffuse lighting such as the, the softbox that you can see reflected in my glasses, uh, it kind of diffuses the light too much and you don't really get any light rays. Another thing is backlighting should be your primary light because that would make the light rays even more pronounced and add also to that contrasty, dramatic film noir look. If you kind of have even high key lighting, it erases that dramatic, low, like contrasty look. As you can see in the shot that I'm showcasing now, there's only one light and I'm kind of left in shadow and that is definitely the look I was going for. I also, I placed the light in a way where it was in between the two doors and that kind of added a blockage to the light, which is another thing. You need to block your light and add obstacles in front of your light because that helps shape your light as you can see here. So I added it in between the doors instead of directly in the window where I was uh, so that it kind of blocks the light in the middle and adds that nice split of light as you can see here. And here's one of the main imperative things you need is a smoke machine. Warning, the following is a smoke machine being used by a complete idiot. Please do not hold the smoke machine with your bare hands like I did. Thank you. I used the cheap 600 watt brandless nameless smoke machine from Take Lot as you can see here and some cheap fluid. I'll put that up on screen as well. I filled the car up with smoke and then I did my best to spread it so it can have a more even effect. And then as I said before I positioned my Godox SL60 watt but high angle down and that was the only primary source of light. Then I positioned myself within the square frame of the window kind of a frame within a frame to guide the viewer's eye. And then, yeah, that was the overall look. As you can see, it created this beautiful light ray effect. Another thing I learned, if you want defined light rays directly from the light instead of having to block it, your light needs to be very magnified or very condensed. And what I did was I just bought a cheap sun lamp or sunlight. I forgot what it's called. This thing here, as you can see, and that has like a magnifying glass attached to it to kind of condense the light into a circle. So after using my smoke machine in the car and bringing in that light, that was actually the only light source in the warmer scenes, as you can see here. Uh, since it's very condensed because of the magnifying section on the sunlight or the sun lamp, you can see it immediately has this clean beautiful powerful light ray effect which added to that ethereal kind of look that I was going for. I know that it seems like I'm putting a lot of emphasis on teaching you guys or telling you or informing you how to create light rays but it is a very huge aspect of the entire aesthetic that I had present in that video. Another thing also that helps is positioning lights at an angle. You could angle it like in this shot uh, as you can see I had to angle it to kind of get that slight light ray effect that I wanted to go for. Another good piece of gear that you could use are barn doors. I didn't have that at the time, but as you can see now, on this light here, this Godox, there are barn doors present. Uh, I bought them after the fact, because I realized that I really needed them. Possibly my favorite shot of the whole video, which is of my head center frame as I stare directly at the sunset lamp, which is the primary source, as I mentioned before, for all the warm scenes. For this, I just sat in the middle uh, seat rows in the car, and then I positioned the tripod and my camera at the back of the car and then I just aimed that towards me and then obviously as you can see here I positioned the sunset lamp because the sunset lamp wouldn't really stay on the dashboard of the car I kind of put it in a slit by the radio and then I just left it there and as you can see I hid the laptop which is the primary power source of the sunset lamp in the front seat and then I just plugged that in I made sure my head kind of was in center with the two seats with the two front seats kind of framing me on either side just I really like the symmetry of the scene and that was that was very important for me as you can see the front seats kind of block and shape the light rays created by the sunset lamp and then also me as a character I also block the light so when I move you can kind of really see the light rays moving with me and it adds to that overall effect 
And yeah, a lot of the other shots were kind of playing around, looking for interesting compositions in the car, paired with the light rays. As you can see with this shot, I was kind of bending down to get something, and then I saw how the light rays went through the headrest of the of the one of the seats and you can only see it at a certain angle so i kind of lowered the tripod to where it could see that nice light rays and then i had myself interact with that light rays by breathing through it touching it and another thing that kind of really helped i used a spray bottle to spray down the windows it didn't actually rain that day or the day before or anything like that so what i did was i just took a spray bottle and in between scenes i would keep spraying the windows to kind of add that texture of the raindrops because you can't have film noir or blade runner without rain as you can see in this shot of the window and this shot here as well of the car from outside this really really adds to the overall film noir blade runner effect uh, and also overall just adds texture and it kind of reflects the light in a nice way as well and yeah that's all i can really think of to tell you guys i'm gonna be i'm gonna film the b-roll now so you guys can see everything a bit more clearly i'm not really thinking as clearly because i'm filming outside and i'm not very good in front of the camera when i'm speaking as well uh, especially outside where um everyone around you is looking at you uh so yeah um thank you for your time and yeah bye bye